Good morning, our dear friends um, and those who love Jesus Christ and would love to sit in His presence together with us. And we really pray to be able to sit in God's presence today and to feel His um, His glory and His goodness and His mercy and His wisdom and His forgiveness of our sins. And we pray to be able basically to glorify Him all the time. This is a Thursday morning prayer according to the Orthodox Study Bible. And we just want to pray for us, God, come with us, forgive us our sins that we commit daily. And uh, please shine your face upon us. And we're going to pray Psalm 62 from the Orthodox Study Bible at first. This is a psalm by David when he was in the desert of Judea. Oh God, my God. I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate and impassable and waterless land. So in the holy place I appeared before you to see your power and your glory because your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with uh, marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall be glad in God, and who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. We're going to read the commentary to Psalm 62. Psalm 62 is a prayer of Christ the King, like in verse 12. Instructing his church in morning prayers, for his world is like the desert of Judea. For this world, sorry, is like the desert, desert of Judea, which is desolate, impassable, and waterless, like in verse 2. And the soul that remembers God during the night on his bed will also learn to meditate on him in the morning, like in verse 7. Such a soul will be filled and cannot be injured by the devil and his angels that uh, mentioned in verse 10 and referred to as they. Psalm 62 is the third of the six psalms like Psalm 3, Psalm 37, Psalm 62, Psalm 87, Psalm 102, Psalm 142 in all truths. We are going to pray now um, the morning intercessory prayers from the Orthodox Study Bible. In Jesus' name, remember, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, your mercies and loving kindness, which have been from everlasting and for the sakes of which you did become a man, and then to your crucifixion and death for the salvation of all who rightly believe in you. You rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of God the Father and regard the humble prayers of all who call upon you with their whole heart. Incline your ear and hear the humble entreaty of me, your unprofitable servant who offers it for an odor of spiritual fragrance 
for all your people. And first of all, remember your holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which you have purchased with your precious blood. Confirm and strengthen it. Enlarge and multiply it. Keep it in peace. Preserve it unconquerable by the gates of hell forever. Heal the schism of the churches. Quench the raging of the hidden. Speedily undo and root out the growth of heresies. And bring them to note by the power of your spirit. Save, O Lord, and have mercy upon all world rulers, on our president, on all civil authorities. Speak peace and blessing in the hearts of your holy church and for all your peoples, in order that we may live in a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and dignity. Save, O Lord, and have mercy upon patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, priests, ministers, and deacons, and the whole clergy of your church, which you have established to feed the flock of your word. And by their prayers, have mercy upon me and save me, a sinner. Save, O Lord, and have mercy upon my spiritual father, and by his holy prayers forgive me my righteousness. Save, O Lord, and have mercy upon my parents, my spouse, my brothers and sisters, my children, my kinsmen after the flesh, and my friends, and grant them your blessings both here and hereafter. Save, O Lord, and have mercy upon the old, the young, the needy, the orphans, and the widows, and on all that are in sickness and sorrow, in distress and affliction, in oppression and captivity, in prison and confinement. More especially, have mercy upon your servants who are under persecution for your sake and for the sake of the Orthodox faith at the hands of hidden nations, of apostates and of heretics. Remember them, visit, strengthen, keep and comfort them, and make haste to grant them by your power, relief, freedom and deliverance. Save, O Lord, and have mercy upon all who are sent on duty, all who travel, our fathers, brothers and sisters, and upon all true Christians, save, O Lord, and have mercy upon all who envy and affront me, and do me mischief, and do not let them perish through me, a sinner. Those who depart from the Orthodox faith, dazzled by destroying heresies, do enlighten by the light of your holy wisdom, and unite them to your holy apostolic Catholic Church. O Lord, grant me to greet the coming of the day in peace. Help me in all things to rely upon your holy will. In every hour of the day, reveal your will to me. Bless my dealings with all who surround me. Teach me to treat all that comes to me throughout the day with peace of soul and with firm conviction that your will governs all. In all my deeds and words, guide me, guide my thoughts and feelings. In unforeseen events, let me not forget that all are sent by you. Teach me to act firmly and wisely without embittering and embarrassing others. Give me strength to bear the fatigue of the coming day with all that is it shall bring. Direct my will, teach me to pray, and your self pray in me. Amen. It is truly right to bless your Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, the mother of our God. 
more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim without corruption you gave birth to god the world the word through theoticus we magnify you glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages amen lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy through the prayers of our holy father so Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.